Are you trying to find the perfect Maui condo that exudes understated luxury but maintains that old Hawaiiana feel? Well, stick around because we're breaking down McKenna Surf in this video. This is a complex that does just that. McKenna Surf retains the charming understated allure of Maui. Its low-rise architecture, verdant surroundings, and indigenous flora transport you to a bygone era leaving no doubt that you are in Hawaii, not some other place that's kind of just been built out. It really has that old Hawaiiana feel. McKenna Surf enjoys a perfect location, just distant enough from Wailea to provide a sense of seclusion and privacy, yet close enough to partake in its nightlife and all its amenities. If you're seeking a tranquil oceanfront complex, McKenna Surf could be your ideal destination. McKenna is the furthest town to the south on the south side of Maui. You're about 18 miles or roughly 32 minutes from the Kahului Airport in Wailuku Town. In McKenna's only beachfront vacation rental condo, McKenna Surf really offers that incredible location, beautiful ocean views, and some lovely amenities. McKenna Surf is designed with a walk-up structure. This means that reaching the third floor units may require a little bit of effort, especially when carrying luggage. However, this design choice results in lower maintenance fees compared to other resorts that have multiple elevators requiring regular inspection and servicing, which can be very costly. Therefore, some people look at this, you know, as more of a pro as opposed to a con because it keeps those monthly HOA fees down. But again, you don't have access to elevators, which is kind of common in condo complexes in Wailea and McKenna. Initially, the McKenna Surf Complex was offered two and three bedroom condos. However, over the years, several owners have acquired multiple units and merged them, leading to a diverse range of floor plans. These can range from anywhere to two bedroom, two bathroom units, all the way up to five bedroom, five bathroom residences. Not to say these all, you know, kind of go along with county permitting, but some of these owners have done this. Some of it's permitted, some of it's not. The condition of the interiors also varies significantly with some of the units maintaining their original materials, while others have undergone extensive state-of-the-art high-end renovations, completely top to bottom redone. Now let's talk about the amenities that make McKenna Surf a truly exceptional place to live. On site, you'll find two swimming pools and spas perfect for a refreshing dip or relaxing soak. In 2023, they are updating both pool areas, which will make the complex even more appealing and more updated. For the sports enthusiasts, there are four professionally designed tennis courts, and recently they have drawn lines for pickleball and have nets for this as well, which I'm a big fan of. If you enjoy cooking, you'll appreciate the two herb gardens and barbecue facilities, which are perfect for outdoor dining and entertaining. I personally love that they have these herb gardens. They have thyme, oregano, sage, chives. Last time I was there, I even saw some aloe in the herb garden. So it's really nice they have those for residents. So if you wanna go pluck a little sprig for your dinner, that's just right down there, which is so sweet, I think. There's also a small gym room near the complex main office and the koi pond. This gym is not huge, but hey, at least they have your basic gym equipment and it gets your heart rate pumping. And rest assured that safety is a top priority with extensive on-site security ensuring a peaceful living environment. Many owners also appreciate that this complex allows for long-term parking. So those owners who sometimes leave on extended trips, maybe for work or vacation, and where they want to safely store their vehicles without a hassle, this is able to be done, which is very nice but the amenities don't stop just at the complex gates. In the nearby vicinity, you'll find the renowned Wailea Gold, Emerald, and Blue golf courses offering world-class golfing experiences just down the road. And if you fancy a shopping spree or maybe a gourmet meal, just to hop in your car for a quick three minute drive, or if you're feeling energetic, a 15 mile bike ride will get you to the shops at Wailea, Wailea Village, or the Gateway Center, all those shops there. Some of my favorite dining options at Wailea are Mateo's, which is Italian, and then the restaurant at Hotel Wailea. And then for lunch, I love Pita Paradise. That's a really always a good one, as well as the chocolate stop next door. Just a short five minute drive or a 10 minute bike ride to the south and you'll find yourself at McKenna Beach State Park. With its rich biodiversity spread over a sprawling park, you're gonna find enough activities to keep you busy for a while. And let's not forget about the beaches. Some of Hawaii's most beautiful beaches, including Big Beach, Little Beach, and Kiawakapu Beach are just around the corner. These are perfect for a day of sunbathing, swimming, or simply just enjoying the beach. 
Po'olana Lana Beach is on the right side of the complex and you'll have no issues accessing this beach as the condo community features a private automatic gated entrance. So it's um, soft sand and picturesque Maui sunsets are just steps away. McKenna Surf offers not just a property, but really it's a lifestyle. Lifestyle that combines tranquility of a beachfront residence with the convenience of nearby amenities and the luxury of being right on the water at one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. You know, this complex, it really does have that private secluded feel, but you're so close to nearby areas that it really is convenient. If we haven't met yet, my name is Indy Brassingram and I am your Maui lifestyle specialist helping you purchase property on Maui. It's always my intention to provide you with content that is value driven, honest, and packed with a whole bunch of information. If you've gained some insight by watching my videos, I would so appreciate you giving this video a thumbs up. It just helps that YouTube algorithm boost my stuff. Now let's move on to the practicalities of owning in McKenna Surf. This complex is zoned as HM Hotel, which means it's all set for short-term and vacation rentals. As of 2023, the county rules allow for this, which is great news if you're thinking of using this as an investment property. Now, as with any property investment, there are some taxes to keep in mind when owning at McKenna Surf. So if you'll be renting this property out as an investment property, then you'll be responsible for a TAT or a GET. First, there's TAT or the transient accommodations tax. This applies when you're renting out your property on a short-term basis. And then now we also have the general excise tax. This is a tax on the gross income of businesses, which includes rental income. For those up-to-date numbers, just send me an email or a text. I'd be happy to get those over to you. Then you also have, of course, real property tax. Now, this one's interesting because the rate can change depending on how you're using your property. If you're renting it out short term, that's one rate. If it's long term, there's another. If your unit is an empty um, or second home, or if you're living it in yourself, then the rate changes again. Hawaii has one of the lowest property taxes in the entire country. Did you know that? Now, here's the caveat with that is that we are also home to some of the most expensive real estate. So the lower rates oftentimes don't equate to all around lower property taxes overall. And your property taxes are largely going to depend on how you use the property. Owner occupied being the lowest and short term rental or second home being the highest tax rates. Finally, there's HARPTA and FERPTA. These are taxes that apply to the sale of Hawaii real estate by non-resident persons. So HARPTA is for non-Hawaii residents and FERPTA is for non-United States residents. This is a withholding of funds. So it's not just a tax, it's a withhold. So they're withholding the funds to ensure that the non-residents pay the correct taxes that are owed on the sale of their property. If you're looking at purchasing a condo in Maui, don't hesitate to reach out to me. There are so many nuances that go along with purchasing Maui real estate, but condos in particular. So it just ensure that you're working with someone who is familiar, who you work with really does matter. Now let's get into the pricing of this complex. So the purchase price of each unit in McKenna Surf building can vary significantly due to several factors. The first major factor is the unit's location within the complex and its view planes. As the complex is kind of terraced, this offers some you know, stellar views, even though you might be located a little bit farther back from the ocean. Additionally, the extent of updates and renovations made to the units can also influence their prices, of course. So in the last 13 months, there have been three units sold and there are currently two units active. So the average sales price was $4,866,667. And the average sold price per square foot was $3,604. For the two units currently listed, the prices averaged are $4,392,500. And the price per square foot is $3,422 per square foot. If you have questions regarding these numbers or want up-to-date information, just reach out to me. I'm always happy to provide that. If you're looking to make Maui your home, check out some of my other videos where I talk about Maui real estate and Maui life. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day.